Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for zodiac sign Sagittarius for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. So guys, new two weeks in front of us starting from April 16th until 29th of April 2018. So what you can expect? Who knows? We will see. And soon. You can see your Terra spread is already waiting, but I will show uh, your spread a little bit later. Please be patient, you know, because first I want to talk about astrology. I want to share with you as many as possible insights, you know, when it comes to transits and everything else. I think it's going to be interesting and fun. If you are by any, by any chance for the very first time on my YouTube channel, first of all, welcome. And please go and watch bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for your moon sign and especially for your rising sign. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, uh, the very first thing is um, Saturn, which will start with retrograded motion April 17th, 2018 in your second house. Ouch! What? Well, I just said ouch you know so this is most likely you know some money which is not coming your way so you need to wait and you need to be patient but don't you worry you know some other doors most likely will be open for you so maybe money will come in some completely uh from an uh, from another uh you know source so everything will be just fine but you need to be patient and please don't start you know freaking out what am I going to do? What am I going to do? This also could be you investing into your business. And most likely this is you uh, invested already too much into this new project. And now you are freaking out, you know, what, who will who will bring, you know, this money back to, you know. Are you going to earn enough money to basically, you know, um, uh, you know to be on um, in a plus. I don't know how to say it better in English. Uh, you know, this is you, I can see you investing, you know, some money in a new project or maybe new business or, you know, whatever. And I can see lots of fear. Also, I need to add right away, not only that you have set now in retrograde motion. And by the way, this retrogression will be from 17th of April until 6th of September. So this is annual five months of retrograde going you know back 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 backwards you know in a sign of capricorn in your second house you know so maybe you need to repeat something maybe you need to renew some something inside of you maybe you are afraid maybe you are confused maybe you are afraid that you are going to lose your job or whatever and also there is a pluto <laughs> uh -huh, couple of days after 22nd of april starting also with annual re retro retro graded motion also in a second house in a sign of capricorn and uh, until uh, until September 30th. So this is, you know, many, many months, you know, to think about, honey, what you're doing, you know, with your money? What you're doing, you know? Are you spending too much? Are you, are you, are you shopping too much? Do you support somebody who is not worth of, you know, that, you know, this also could happen, not for all of you, but for some of you. There is also a star with uh, Lilith, you know, between Saturn and a Pluto. So, uh, you know, and if somebody approached to you saying, don't do that. This is you saying, F off, you know, this is not your job, you know, you cannot talk to me in a such a way, you know, so you will dismiss this person. But maybe they, they, maybe there is, you know, somebody who who wants to give you a go golden, solid, good advice. But the thing is, you do not want to listen. You simply do not want to listen. Guys, listen to me. Uh, Mars is also in your second house. Mm, next to asteroid Orpheus. So I think that you will kind of... I can see renewal of old project. This can happen quite very easily. Because... Uh, um, you will get a help when it comes to finances and, and job in a weird, weird way, you know. Also, I can see your father could be involved. Or maybe this is you asking your father, please help me, I am drowning, you know, here, you know. And maybe your father will say, well, this is your mess and now you need 
to help yourself out, you know, maybe this is your father saying uh, all the time, like five times a day, you need to listen to me, this is you saying, no, I will prove to you that I am right and you are wrong, of course, uh, you know, everything depends, you know, um, what type of person you are, you know, everything depends how, what type of person you are, okay, let me proceed, but anyway, Mars will give you uh, energy, this is you saying, nobody will destroy me, I know exactly what I want, I know exactly what I want to achieve, and how I achieve what I want to achieve, because Mars is extremely powerful in the sign of Capricorn, which is good, right, and also, also for some of you, this is like clashing of energies, this is you attacking somebody who is not fast, or smart, or, or, or diligent like you are, maybe this is you attacking your boss, attacking your colleague, saying, saying, uh, go outside, I will deal with this situation, I have resources, I have knowledge, I have power, energy, whatever, you know, okay, I sound, you know, a little bit, you know, dramatic, guys, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, you know, this is very dramatic couple of weeks in front of you, so first of all, maybe you need to understand something, Maybe you need to to make like a new plan, you know, or you know something something of that kind, you know. Okay, never mind. But everything will be, I think, you know, just you know, fine. So uh, a lots of you will have an opportunity to travel, maybe even to work from another city. Jupiter is still uh, in retrograde motion in conjunction with asteroid psyche in your twelfth house, guys. Listen to me. Uh, some of you, not all of you, but some of you, you simply want to cry, 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 you know, like a little baby. So you are in a phase of your life when you're simply kind of losing uh, solid ground uh, beneath your feet, you know. Uh, so many things seems to be against you. It is not quite that, but it only seems, you know, that way. You don't have like anybody that you, you can rely on. Maybe you will discover that some people are plotting something against you, especially colleagues. Maybe this is, you know, somebody you count on somebody and maybe this person will say, uh, nope, I cannot do that, you know. So you really need to be tough like never, ever before. But you will see in a couple of months situation, especially in your uh, business, job, uh, work department, will be so much better. So much better. You see, every single day from this day on, everything will be so much better and better and, and better. You just wait and see. But now you are in a kind of, you know, dark place, you know. So you need to be tough and you need to repeat yourself every single day. I can do that. I can do that. I know. I know. I know. Nobody is believing in me, but I know I will be successful and I will show to the rest of the world that I am good enough. And this is basically you making your point. Also, there is a person you simply do not know. Can you rely on this person or maybe not? Could be Aquarius, could be Libra, could be Cancer, could be even fellow sign Sage, you know. So this is you asking frequently yourself, can, can, I, can I believe to this person, you know. And if if there is a Libra or Taurus or Gemini um, in your love life, maybe this is you asking, is this person he or she single? Maybe this person is not 100% uh, honest towards me, you know? So, uh, you, you, you kind of, you know, one day you believe in you, another day you don't believe in you, then once again you believe in you, then once again you believe in your future, then you don't believe in your future, so everything is kind of, you know, mixed, 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 but do not be afraid, everything will be just fine. If you're single, an Aries or Leo, Gemini or Virgo will be, or maybe even a Pisces will be very interested to be in a relationship with you, but most likely you want somebody else. First of all, you want this Taurus, or Libra, I think. I mean, could be any other astrological sign, but most likely this is what is uh, what is going on. Now, guys, something extremely important uh, is happening uh, in your life, in everybody's life, because Chiron, Wonder Healer, is changing sign. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, April seventeenth, two thousand eighteen. Enter will enter. 
um, uh, Chiron will enter a sign of uh, Aries, moving from Pisces to Aries. And basically, this is your fifth house. Guys, listen to me, pay attention. For the, ne for the past seven years, whatever Uranus destroyed when it comes to your love relationship, now Chiron will help you to understand and Chiron will help you to heal this wound. You see? And I can see a person who is like an angel. Mercury in conjunction with uh, asteroid Anteros. Somebody like an angel will bring you such a special message. This could be a complete stranger on the street. And you will realize, I am saved. I am saved. So, I don't know how to explain that, you know, better on English. But, you know, something big is rolling your way. First of all, you need to understand something. You need to discover God once again inside of you. God in you. You see? So, only then you will calm yourself down. You will finally understand there is a reason for everything what is unfolding in your life yesterday, today, or even tomorrow or in the future. And then you will you will grab your spirit. You will, you will grab this God inside of you saying, okay, I'm saved. I know I'm not forsaken. Everything will be just fine. You see what I'm saying? So do not be afraid of anything at all. Inside of your house, oh my God, there is a drama inside of your house, you know, because I can see asteroid Diana, Minerva, Eros, Neptune, uh, asteroid nos nostalgic, uh, nos nostalgic, yes. So, you know, this is your thinking about your past. What went wrong? Who is right? Who is wrong? And, you know, what well, I mean, but I don't want to talk about that. Because, you know, this is something very sensitive. This could be completely different, you know, type of a story. But everything, I mean, ruler of uh, Pisces is Jupiter. And Jupiter is in retrograde motion in a 12th house in the sign of Scorpio. This is, this is nasty wound from your early childhood. Or you see, so this is exactly what it is, you know. And the retrograde motion, you know. So this is something that you want to forget. But I don't know, can you forget? I don't know, can you forget? Also, I can see you missing somebody a lot. You miss somebody a lot. Okay, never mind. I mean, this will go away because time can heal everything. And I mean it, everything. Uh, if you're single, guys, listen. Pisces, Scorpio, most likely is very clingy onto you. But you don't like that um, not very much. Um, uh, Libra could be the one. Taurus could be the one, uh, Gemini, uh, Leo, um, mm, mm, Virgo for a couple of you, you see, could be the one. Uh, but I think that in the next two weeks or so, I think that you will think about your job much more than on, on your love relationship, generally speaking, you see. Okay, I said enough. Now let's go back to Tarot. Okay, let me put your spread in front of my camera. Well, this is beautiful tarot card, Major Arcana, the Empress, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, this is not that bad. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, guys, let me see for a couple of seconds before I say anything at all. Major Arcana, the Empress. Ah, oh, by the way, this is the only one, uh, Major Arcana. Okay. This is money, this is grabbing your money, this is abundance, this is you making a plan for future uh, work, job, project, buying, selling, a mm, couple of business, uh, meeting, uh, believing in yourself, maybe some problems because of due to this air of pentacles, but, but basically... You have everything under your control, you know. Only it seems, you know, that way that you are losing your control. But I don't think so, you know. I don't. No, this is only from outside, you know. But I don't think that you are losing, you know, control from your hands. It only can seems, you know, that way uh, to some people who basically 
uh, don't understand you or maybe some people who are not very close to you people who simply don't 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 know you from inside and out so this is you being in a solitude thinking how to improve your skills how to improve your business but everything will be all right because ace of wands is saying new beginning so can you see guys this tarot card this one this one and this one are kind of greenish um uh, grayish uh, bluish whatever can you see how beautiful this tarot card is ace of wands this is basically your sparkle inside of you sparkle you know what it is kind of everything is falling down but this is you saying not me <laughs> not me you see this is the want this is the want this is basically the want is your will so this is you saying nobody can destroy me because i do believe in me believing in yourself is believing in god when and if you believe in a god it means that you believe in you so you are invincible you see everything is connected okay when it comes to love relationship can you see king of cups this person is not saying that much but this person will follow you or maybe this is you following this person or could be could be uh you know uh could be quite very unique type of energy when you can understand uh with, with 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 somebody you can understand each other on a very very deep level you can share with this man or woman of course depends on your gender um uh, some 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 subjects um which you are you you were not able sharing you know to share you know some informations about your life like with your previous partner but with this person you you will be able to share you know some secrets some secrets about about your life which is good because this person is um, an empath, an empath. So this person can understand you. Knight of Swords. At one point, you will fall in love most likely so deeply, and most likely vice versa. And this is you. This is then you will change your personality altogether, honey. Don't do that. Don't do that, because you need to understand whoever this person now in your life, or maybe will come in your life. If you decide to change, like after five days or after five weeks or five months your personality this person ain't gonna be able to recognize you you know and saying to you i cannot recognize you i fell in love with whatever and now you are completely different i don't recognize you so honey don't do that you don't need to act simply be who you are because this is always always the very best thing for for one to do you see simply be who you are so uh also this could be libra gemini uh aquarius and i already said pisces cancer scorpio you know or could be any other astrological sign but somebody who is very talkative or somebody who is like uh an empath this is exactly what i can see you know an empath and somebody who travel uh on a, on a many short you know trips maybe even you will have opportunity to travel with this person um uh, uh, uh together which will be very very fun you know this this will be very fun because i can see you and this person in uh, inside of car or maybe inside of an airplane or no whatever you know which is beautiful this is quite very very good and lovely okay so for those of you who are single and especially if you are a woman your mother will ask you like a frequently what you're waiting you need to find a man you need to find a husband what you are very waiting my dear daughter you know and if you are a woman, Sagittarius woman, this is you saying, Oh, mother, don't be so, you know, old-fashioned, you know. I have my job, I have my friends, you know, and, you know, I am pretty, you know, pleased with my life. And my dear mother, you know, my, the one and only win co will come when God decides, you know. And maybe, who knows, maybe one of those two creatures are basically your, the best, you know, love partner yet to come. But this is you if you're a woman, this is you and this is basically your mother, you know, and your mother can be very, very, you know, depressed. So maybe you need also to take care of your mother. By doing that, you ain't going to have like much time for for going, you know, out because I can see some of you being, you know, uh, inside of your house and maybe, you know, too much. But don't you worry about that, you know, because you have Ace of Wands in your spread and because of this tarot card, you will get it all simply wait and see 
guys this is everything what i have to share today with you make sure to subscribe on my channel book a private reading if you want share this video with your friends and like this video if you please god bless you all bye